few months in the Caribbean. I can't believe it. <gasps> it's booked. Oh, what's next? I can almost smell the jerk chicken and the coconut drinks and feel the sand between my toes. Oh, when's the last time I had a pedicure? I'm going to need to get one of those and some pretty sandals. <gasps> what else am I going to wear? Ooh, I need to get busy on my wardrobe. Uh -huh. So whether you're going for a few days or a few months like us, in this video we're going to show you what we're packing and why we're packing it. Right, so if you're getting ready to go to the Caribbean or the islands or somewhere tropical, we're hoping that us sharing our essential packing list with you will help you as well. Hi guys, I'm gonna go over step by step with you what I packed and why I packed it for the tropical climate and Lance is gonna do the same thing from a guy's perspective. Hi guys, I wanna start with going over the luggage that we chose. It's been kind of a challenge because when you're traveling to small islands and things, you're taking little planes in and so we wanted to pack as light as we could. And also, if you've ever lost your luggage, you know, that's a pain in the butt. So we want to avoid that at all costs if we can. So this is the largest um, luggage that you can bring for carry-on. And it's by Away. And we got that idea from a lot of our travel couples that we follow on YouTube. So thanks, guys, for that. Next, I'm going to show you my towel. It's the Turkish towel. It's nice and compact, and it's just good for a beach towel. Um, and I've heard that you can use it for several other things, whatever, skirts, whatever you want to wear, <laughs> if you want to wear it. So I'm, Jenny's going to be doing hers, I'm going to be doing the guy stuff here. We'll try not to cover things twice, uh, but we're just going to go over things. So the first thing I want to talk about is this, we've talked about this before, but these are these um, anchor power banks that we bring with everywhere. If you need to get a charge on your phone, get a charge on your laptop, charge on cameras or anything like that, we always bring these with. Um, Next, this is a kind of a folds up and this turns into almost like a, a, you know, a, a backpack that's kind of like um, camelback size, but this is great for if you want to go down to the beach, you want to take stuff out or you just want to you know, bring the camera with or bring a wallet with or something like that and you don't want to have it out in your pocket, you can uh, unfold this thing and it turns into kind of a small backpack that you can use um, for, for doing those types of things, those day activities. Okay, I'm gonna start here and work my way around. So I packed a few pairs of casual shorts for every day. I'm basically gonna be living in swimsuits and shorts and tank tops because of the hot weather over there. And the, let's see, I've got a few dressy tank tops and also tank tops that couple nice with like the one cardigan I'm bringing for layering. So in the evenings when it's a little cooler, I can just throw this over the top as well. And I have some more casual tank tops too. I'll be honest, I tried really hard to find linen and microfiber type material because that's cooler in the tropical places, but I did not have a lot of luck because I basically chose cuteness over the material. I'm sorry, but I liked these tank tops, so that's, I'm just gonna have to suffer through it. Over here I have some longer sleeve shirts for those nights that we got to eat at the restaurants and clubs. Maybe there will be a little bit more conservative places, so they're a little more modest that way. Um, right, so I brought a couple of dress shirts just for you never know. Nights going out, you know, clubs, restaurants, some places have dress codes, so I just brought a couple of dress shirts. Uh, these are both in microfiber material as well. I went with a light one and a dark one, just depending on, you know, you never know what's going on. Uh, you can see I'm actually wearing these pants right now. So these pants are made by Cole, or Cool, however you say it. These again are hiking pants, but they're also, I just like them because they're fitted, um, they're very, uh, they're stretchable, but they're also very durable. I can also use them if we're going out to, to eat one night or in a resort. They kind of look like dress pants as well, so you know, just that versatility of being able to have kind of a dress pants, but also something that would work for other environments too, like hiking or, or those types of things. That's why I went with these. And I love these pants. 
They can be dressed up, dressed down. They're, these ones are capri length, but they're just super comfortable too. So they also work well for travel days. They're called Palazzo pants. As you can see, I'm wearing a pair right now too. So they're, they feel like pajama pants, but they're dressier looking and they just can be dressed up if you wanna go out to eat at night. And I also brought a long skirt that can go with a lot of my white shirts and I have three sundresses. One is a little bit shorter and I'm hoping this will be nice for walking on the beach at night. And then I've got my longer sundresses, but they're lighter material, so they should be nice and cool. And then I have a sarong too. So I'm excited, as you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but I have the instruction manual. You can wear it as a long skirt. You can wear it as a head wrap. You can wear it as a belt. I have all kinds of different ways I can wear it. So stay tuned on that. I'm excited to wear that and show that off. And I love these pants. They're by Mountain Hardware. They're really heavy duty, but they're really light material at the same time. So I could picture wearing these in the jungle on a hike, you know, when you want long pants, but you don't want to be like really hot and have heavy clothing. This is going to work nice. But they're also, you know, I could picture putting some dressy flip-flops with them and a dressy shirt, and you could go out at night on a cooler night wearing them as well. Or just, they're very cozy. So just something to curl up with, you know, at night when I'm just hanging out on the porch or something. And this is my rash guard. So this is nice to have if you're snorkeling, doing water sports, stuff like that, because it protects you from the sun. I don't know if you've ever been snorkeling or doing water sports, but that sun really reflects off the water, so this is really important. Um, and it also protects against the reef rash that you can get as well. So I'm glad that I have that with. Then I have a sun shirt. I wish you could feel this, it's super light, the lightest material I've ever felt. Um, but it's got a hood so I can cover up and be protected from the sun completely, but also not be hot. So I'm excited to try that out in the hot, you know, jungle hikes and things like that. A couple pairs of swim trunks, and then I also have my own sun shirt, and I just brought a zip up too. Again, if it's cooler at night, I'm gonna have those. Okay, guys, next I brought, I brought a couple of pairs of shorts. Um, you know, these shorts can be used for workout shorts, um, sports, hiking, whatever it may be. These are gonna be more like my activity types of shorts. Brought a couple of those in microfiber. Also brought uh, a long, a pair of um, sweatpants that I could use again. You know, if it's a cool night or if I want to work out in the early morning or something like that, if it may be cooler, I brought a pair of sweatpants for that. And then lastly, I brought a bunch of microfiber shirts just in different colors, white, black, gray. Um, these are good for layering or if I just want to throw this on and go to the beach, that type of thing. Here's um, some of my sporty stuff. I got, I did better with the microfiber. I got three microfiber, just sporty tanks which can go well with these shorts for working out, yoga, Pilates, hiking. I could also wear this kind of stuff if we're kayaking, things like that. So, so I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in swimsuits. So I brought a couple of bikinis, a one piece, and a more sporty swimsuit for those water sports days or the kayaking, you know, um, things like that, just playing around more. And I brought two swimsuit cover-ups which can be used on resorts. Um, it can be used for walking to and from the beach, from the Airbnb or hotel. Okay, I brought a couple, actually three of these short sleeve, kind of dressier shirts. I brought two microfiber polo shirts. Again, because we're gonna be in this tropical climate, I want stuff that's going to be cooling. I'm not gonna sweat a lot in. Um, I went with two polo shirts, and then this is also a, a button up that's made by um, Prana. This is more for backpacking and hiking. It's very, um, it has like air conditioned vents in here. It's really great for doing the outdoor activities, but it's also nice and cool and it's a button up so I could probably get away with doing some other stuff with this. I also brought a couple of tank tops. I'm not a big tank top guy, but you know, when you're in the tropics and it's gonna be hot, I might use these for layering or hiking or working out or whatever, but I did bring a couple of tank tops. Okay, right. next I brought, I brought three pairs of shorts. I did just kind of different colors. I did like a gray, a blue and a black. I figured that's gonna go with anything. Um, when it comes to shoes, pair of flip-flops, pair of kind of boat shoes that are closed toe, and then also 
my water shoes for if we're doing hiking or you know we're doing something in the water in the river kayaking those types all of right things. i have a couple of sports bras i'm bringing for working out i wear them to sleep and they're just more comfortable for me next is the buffs i am wearing one i love buffs they help keep the hair out of the face I'm picturing the beach is very windy usually, so that's gonna help with keeping the hair out of the face when I'm working out, just playing on the beach, things like that. Bad hair day, throw it on, that helps. Um, these are awesome. These are packing cubes made by Tim and Finn, one of our favorite YouTube couples. They created these. Uh, they are very handy. They can be, you can stuff them full and then you can consolidate things down squish them way down with these zip. All right, here I have my universal adapter. We take this everywhere when we go overseas or different countries because you just never know what kind of electricity your plugins are gonna have. So that can help with that. And then we have our power strip here. So as you can see, there's um, USB plugins and regular plugins and you'd use those together um, depending on what the plugins are there. And then my night core um, headlamp for night hikes or just when I need a light at nighttime walking places and then my phone charger of course okay Jenny and I whenever we're traveling we always bring a couple of extra phones with these are a couple of old uh, Apple iPhones that we bring with just because you never know the cellular service you're gonna get you know you can try to buy sell you know like an international plan we tried that when we went to Africa and the service through Verizon did not work at all. So we brought a couple of extra phones. When we get to the airport, we can buy a SIM card for that country and usually load it up with like 20 gigs of data for really reasonable price, You're talking 30 bucks maybe US. Um, so then we also, we've got local phones that work and we've got data. We can use this for GPS or you know we can tether our personal phones to the second phone and the second SIM so we can send messages or upload video or whatever it may be, but we always you know, make sure we bring an extra phone with us so we can do the local sim if we have to in that situation. All right, next I'm gonna talk about shoes. And I know, ladies, it's really hard. I had to leave a whole bunch of shoes back home, my chunky sandals that are really cute and stuff just because they take up so much space in the suitcase. But I did find some nice little flip-flops that can have a dressy feel, but they're nice and small. I'll probably, these are a little bigger than these, as you can see, but, so I'll probably wear these on the airplane during traveling so I don't have to pack them. And these will pack super nice. So now I have some in brown, some in black. I don't know what your, you know, normal colors are, but that's normal for me. So I have one of each, and I have my running shoes. They're super small as well and compact, so they pack nicely. I'm gonna use these for working out, walking around the market, just being comfortable. And then I have my water shoes. So these protect your feet when you're snorkeling, you know, in the ocean, you know, uh, when you're doing like water hikes, when there's gonna be a lot of water and rivers and things like that. So they have some good grip on them and they also cover the whole foot, so they protect you that way. Jenny already talked about, I have my own rash guard as well and my own Turkish towel. Uh, again, we bring those with just because, you know, these things can be used for a towel, a beach blanket, whatever you really need it for. They're just really versatile. We always bring these with. Um, as far as like kind of, I went with some dressier shirts as well. Again, microfiber, you know, silk, uh, very lightweight stuff and just lightweight tropical colors. Again, I'm, the whole thing I'm thinking of is staying cool, not sweating, and being able to do like a day on the beach or going out at night. Either one of these will look good for those situations. So Jenny and I talked about these in another video. These are ultra lightweight Architerix uh, rain jackets. Again, you know, we're gonna be hitting down in the tropics in the middle of December, which is kind of the end of the rainy season, but you never know, you may get those light, you know, afternoon showers that you typically do in the Caribbean. So we both got these. Um, these are ultra lightweight again, um, backpacking, uh, you know, raincoats, and they pack down really nice and they're less weight. So that's why we went with those. Um, I've got a linen shirt and linen pants. Guys, if you've never worn linen pants, uh, these are awesome, especially when you're in the tropics. Um, you know, they're great for just throwing on a pair of pants if you want to walk down by the beach walk down to the pool, you don't want to have your white pasty legs out and they're super comfortable as well. So a pair of linen. All right, next I'm going to talk about cosmetics. 
So on our last trip um, going to Africa, it was a little complicated. We had to go through several different countries to get there and customs and security. And we learned that different places consider liquids different things. I remember what, I think it was Germany, they said that um, our deodorant was considered a liquid as well. And they want it all in these plastic clear bags. So we just decided to just you know, set ourselves up for success for customs and security and get these bags. And so here's my makeup. And then I made sure to bring plenty of contact solution because again, in Africa, we couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm assuming in, you know, tropical islands, it might be a little bit better. I might be able to find contact solution, but just in case I brought a whole bunch of that and it's all in the 3.4 ounces, all my cosmetics are for uh, flying. So also I had to think about how many contacts I would need and I got enough supply of contacts for the amount of time we're going to be over there too. So because when we travel we've got to bring with all the camera equipment and stuff like that wherever we're traveling. So my carry-on is typically, uh, we have a Vanguard Ulta Sky 40, which is the backpack um, that carries the camera, uh, some lenses, microphones. I can bring a drone in there if, if the country that we're going to allows drones. Um, but I basically carry all the camera and recording equipment as well as the laptop. Um, all that type of stuff in my carry, my backpack carry-on. And then Jenny and hers, she usually brings along, you know, odds and ends, her cosmetics, different things like that that we just can't fit in the suitcases. She typically brings those in, in her backpack. And we typically go with backpacks um, because wherever we're going, you know, we want to be able to have that versatility where if we're going off to the beach or we're going sightseeing for the day, or we're going on a travel adventure, we can just throw a backpack on versus, you know, a purse or a bag or something like that. And typically if we're going somewhere, I'm bringing the camera equipment with and we're going to film it anyways. So I got to bring, you know, the big bag of all the camera equipment, but that's kind of what we is. We, we each have a backpack and we each have a uh, roller board or whatever you want to call those um, that we bring with. And that's typically our, our travel routine. And last, I have my little reusable bag. When we're going out to markets and things, a lot of times they don't have plastic bags and we want to reuse and recycle anyway. So I'm going to use this when we go out shopping into the markets and it can also double up as a nice beach bag. All right, that's it guys. Looking at all this, it looks like a lot. We'll see. We're going to be there for a few months. It might be like any other time, you know, when you're traveling and you get there and you wish you would have brought this or that or maybe I won't even use half this stuff. We'll see. So I want to hear from you guys. Is there anything here that maybe you don't think I'll need or maybe I forgot? I just want to hear from you and your experiences so we can learn from one another. Thanks guys. Every day, 24